Hello, hello, hello. This is Rocket from Rocket's Podcast. And before I will start talking, as usual, I want to say or wish you a wonderful day. So, I'm going to go and have a little sound. Oops, I apologize for that. I click it twice. So what am I going to talk about today? How about dealing with difficult people? And why is that uh, the chosen topic for today? Well, it is just because I am dealing with uh, a difficult person, which is which happened to be a neighbor of mine who just moved in two months ago. I remember when she saw us outside, she introduced herself and I said, okay. And then she apologizes if her kids were noisy because uh, they are they are adjusting to to their new place. I said okay. They asked us what uh, what are the things that we cannot tolerate because we uh, you know we're more a quiet type of people. And she said like you know the screaming and everything, and that was it. And because we live in a condo, so we tend to hear what's going on on the other side. So a month passed and I started noticing that the things that she apologizes, the things that she asks what she we don't want are actually the one that she's been doing. And then uh, last week, it, it became a little bit more harder for me to accept the fact that the things that really that we are against are the things that she's been doing and then on uh over i mean i think last week around friday i've noticed that um in this area people are starting moving in and she decided to move in other people but the problem is there's not enough parking on her end so she started parking on my side of the street and then she put a cone uh, I believe it was uh, taken or stolen from a construction zone and they wrote a little things like you cannot park here there and there at first I was just kind of curious uh, if there's really go- construction going on but there was actually nothing but it's her way of saying this is my space and nobody will claim it as you get throughout the weekend and this week I've noticed that because she doesn't know how to park or she she doesn't care so it doesn't matter who is she affecting of her because of her action but I started to get stressed and I do not like the way it feels and the more I am quiet about it the more she start pushing it but I kind of like uh, start sucking it up, not saying anything because I believe that is the best revenge that I can think of to ignore it. Because anybody who will do something and the other person is not responding, it annoys them. At the same time, of course, I get annoyed, but I really don't have the initiative to keep engaging because I can see the type of a person she is and then today I happen to be reading uh, an article by uh, Ralph Manson Marston and I'm gonna read it and I hope that you understand or at least you can relate to what I am talking about okay the difficult people the people whom you find most difficult to deal with can also be your most valuable teachers for your problems with them are not really due to how they are, but rather to how you respond to how they are. And I come to recognize that uh, by dealing with this person. Learn to deal successfully with difficult people and you'll learn valuable lesson about yourself. Mm-hmm. I agree. Work to relate positive, positively to difficult people and you will develop that you can serve you well in many other challenging situations. And I am actually looking forward to the, the things that I am going through, what will be the out- outcome as far as 
teaching myself to be who I am and stick to what I am doing of not saying anything and just sucking it up because uh, a week from now we will be able to move to a house. So uh, people are the way they are. Get past the need to try to change them, past the need to judge or condemn, and look for the value they offer. Sometimes the value is deeply hidden, and when you find it, you found a real treasure. I cannot wait to see what is going to happen. Something few people take time to uncover. In every difficult person you encounter, make a point to look past the difficult parts and focus your attention on the person's part. I'm not focusing on the person part. I am focusing on me to be a better person by not engaging to the same level of uh, whatever she's doing. Uh, the other people with whom you interact are mirrors that help you to see things within yourself. With some people, that mirror can be difficult to view, yet when you have the courage to do so, the rewards can be many and great. And there's so many things why I truly believe in that by, uh, like I said, examine myself and how I react to other people's behavior is something that I am discovering and I am attempting to work through it because I know it is teaching me a les lesson because I start talking about like God uh, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change that's what I said I remember doing that over and over today so uh, what do you think how do you deal with the uh, difficult people I would like to know this is my podcast for today, and as usual, you do take care. Bye.